Not only is it exciting that 100% finally has snow goggles, but we also have a whole lineup of new lenses and lens tech to talk about. You know that here at Sporter X, we love talking about lens tech. Uh, their approach at 100%, this is, by the way, all hyper lens technology. If you're familiar with 100%, which hopefully you are because they make really good products, really good MX goggles, really good sunglasses, everything that they've done, I've really loved. And so the hyper lens tech exists outside. It exists in their MX goggles, it exists in their sunglasses, and now it is optimized for snow. Obviously, these are snow goggles, so we have a whole new lens tech that we get to talk about, and I'm gonna break this all down for you so you know what to expect out of every single one of these lenses, figure out which one is perfect for you. 100% uh, approach here is to break it down into categories, I mean, which is pretty typical, uh, but they have category four, which is the darkest, then category three, then category two, and then category one. The lower the number, the more light that makes it through. Don't worry, I will of course also address the VLT in each lens individually. Before we get into that, I wanna point out that they are all being uh, very handsomely modeled in the Norg goggle model, which is this guy right here, which also, by the way, is a very easy magnetic on and off, which is awesome. Uh, if you're looking for more information on the Norg, by the way, which you should be because it's a really exciting goggle, we did a whole individual review. We did a whole overview of the goggle lineup that you can also check out. And again, before we get into the lenses, we can't talk about lenses without also talking about optics, right? What is this guy here? This is our insert. I'm a prescription wearer, obviously, eyeglass Tyler, uh, and this was a game changer for me. If you yourself are a prescription wearer, if you're not, you can skip ahead a few seconds, but if you are, don't sleep on this. If you've had to suffer with contacts that dry out and get uncomfortable, can shorten your day on the mountain. If you've had to suffer through jamming your, your expensive, nice eyeglasses into your goggle, potentially damaging the goggle, potentially damaging your glasses, you don't have to with this. This is awesome. Uh, this is an, a, an insert that is designed by us here at Sporter X, not only as snow enthusiasts, snowboarders, skiers, but also as opticians, which I think is super important if you're making something for prescription eyewear is that an optician is designing it. And we are, and we have a few different models, about a dozen or so different model designs to make sure we have an amazing fit in every single goggle model. We don't like the idea of a single design that we just call universal because you have to make sacrifices there. And we don't like that. We want it to be the perfect fit in every goggle. And so there you go. Don't sleep on that. It's awesome. All right. So this is the gray blue with silver ML mirror, which means that the base color is a gray blue, which isn't going to be super contrast enhancing. However, you do still have that hyper tech to help make it easier to distinguish what you're looking at, uh, the details in the snow. You're still gonna get that enhancement thanks to the hyper, but it's not gonna be as brilliantly contrasty. For some people, that's a plus. And so this is an awesome lens for you, especially if you're looking for something that's not too frilly. Silver is really simple, looks like just a good solid mirror and nice and dark at 8%. Actually, all of these come in at an 8%. The next guy here is a gray blue with green mirror. Expect effectively the exact same lens, but you're gonna get a green color. So it's really just gonna be a matter of your preference in that mirror color. Otherwise, they're going to effectively feel and you'll have the same experience through them. However, the copper with violet mirror, as you see right here, has a copper base color. And then that violet mirror, which looks really cool, and this is a good example of the different angle you hit it, you're gonna see different colors. Really brilliant looking lens here. Again, 8%, but because of that copper base color, you're gonna get a heightened boost in color perception and color contrast. So this might actually come off as uh, feeling like it allows a little more light through because colors are gonna be more vivid. And I'll point that out as we go on other lenses that you can expect that out of, like this guy here. This is the Vermilion Rose with red mirror, another really cool looking lens and definitely shows off that multi-layer effect in the mirror coating. And this has a Vermilion Rose base color, which is going to be very vibrant, very color and contrast enhancing, still at 8%, but it's going to make colors a lot more vivid. In the category four, or the S4 category, this is the one I am the most excited about because I love that vermilion color. 
Rose is a pretty typical base color in lens techs out there in the snow world. Vermilion Rose is pretty unique. I've not seen another lens like this before. And so that one is the one that I'm the most excited about, again, in that S4 category. Now getting into the S3 category, we have the Lavender ML Mirror. And again, really cool looking mirror coating here. And this is at 12% among the other two here, 12% VLT. This has a base color of smoke. So again, pretty neutral. You're still getting that color enhancement thanks to the Hypertech, but overall more neutral than the other options. And now we have the white ML mirror. Again, a smoke base color. So the real difference between these is just that mirror. The white mirror is pretty unique. I've never seen another mirror coating on the mountain in a white. So if you're looking for something that's gonna let you stand out a little bit, be good for that kind of medium light, some clouds, uh, light conditions, that white is pretty unique, pretty cool. But the one I'm most excited about in the S3 category is this guy. Again, Vermilion Rose, and this is with the blue mirror. Again, that, that blue shows off really well with that multi-layer process, really cool. And again, because of that Vermilion Rose, more vivid color enhancement, more, uh, more contrast enhancement, Really cool, uh, but still in that S3 category. That one's the one I'm most excited about in this category. Next up, we have in the S2 category now, all of these come in at 38% VLT. First off, we have the gray green non mirror. The only one on this table that doesn't have a mirror coating. If you're not a big fan of mirror coatings showing off, reflecting a bunch, uh, this is a good option for you. Really straightforward, gray green base color, no mirror color at 38%, really good cloudy lens uh, for you to, to check out here. Next up, we have the copper ML mirror, which means that the mirror coating is a copper color, another really cool looking mirror color, and this has a smoke base color. So again, more neutral, 38%, really cool looking lens. And then the last in this category here is the true gold ML mirror. I think this is my favorite looking lens in the S2 category, but again, it's just a smoke base. If you can't tell, I'm a big fan of color enhancement, contrast enhancement, color looking more vivid. Uh, that typically is my go-to, uh, but this is a really good looking lens if you're looking for a good cloudy condition. Now for more snowy conditions, even uh, just whiteout conditions we have coming up here. First off, we have the silver flash ML mirror. Again, a base color of smoke, pretty straightforward. 48% VLT for everything in this category here. Really straightforward lens. Again, if you're looking for something that's really good for snowy conditions, not too flashy, but looks good, gives you a little bit of protection from that mirror, that's an awesome option to go for, silver flash. Next up is the blue ML mirror. Again, a smoke base. Same things apply, but with a nice little hint of blue when you look at it. Really cool. And by the way, a little note on mirrors, if you're wondering why uh, on this end, the mirror coatings aren't looking quite as intense. It's because when you don't have as much tint backing that mirror coating, it doesn't reflect as much. And so these let more light through, which also means that you're not getting as much reflection off of that mirror. You still get the benefit that it reflects more light back, so a little let less light gets through, uh, but it's not gonna show as brilliantly. So you're gonna be able to see through the lens more on a lower VLT lens. Last but certainly not least, we have the one I'm looking forward to most trying out in really snowy conditions, maybe even complete whiteout conditions. I think this is a perfect lens for you. Pink with turquoise ML mirror. Looks really cool, really unique, but also with that pink base color, you're going to get more vivid color perception, more contrast enhancement, and that vivid color perception is gonna make it feel like you're getting more light to your eyes. So this is gonna be my pick for total whiteout conditions. Don't sleep on this if that's what you're looking for. We've made it through. It's the whole lineup, check it out. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed talking about it. If you did, throw us a like, cause that helps us out. Also subscribe, if you like this content, we have way more content just like it that I think you'd also love. Also, we have good content on our social media outlets that I think you'd appreciate, so check us out there too. If you would like, now that you know what to expect out of the lenses, to check out their whole lineup, we did a lineup overview right here, or if you just wanna know more about the Nord, you can check that out too. Thank you for watching.